Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show, and it's time for some tech talk. We love doing this on a Thursday, and there's a game that everybody's excited about. It's called Ratchet and Clank. And as you know, it's a classic. So when it comes to video game franchises, Grant Hines connects with us from his home space to discuss and review their latest offering called Rift Apart. Goyamora, Grant. How's it going, brother? Hey, guys. Uh, Carl, I think you're muted on that side because I cannot hear you, but I'm very excited right about, <laughs> about uh, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Firstly, it is the first Ratchet & Clank game that are, is official canon since the last PlayStation 3 version of the game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you're probably not necessarily PlayStation heads because it is exclusively available on PlayStation, but you play Ratchet & Clank. Ratchet & Clank is a... Uh, Ratchet's a Lombox. It's like a it's like a fictional character in a third-person adventure with a creature called uh, Clank. Clank is like a metal robot that you take along with you. What's happened in this one, though? The universe you've kind of saved previously, and everything is kind of going super well. But the bad guy named Doctor Nefarious, which is the best name for a bad guy that I have ever heard. <laughs> has got something called the Dimensionator, which is this weapon that uh, opens up all these portals to lots of different dimensions in and across the universe. Because of this, you just travel back and forth through time and through space with Ratchet, or with Clank on your back. And uh, this whole story it, like kind of uh, transpires. You meet a brand new character. Her name is River. She's a female uh, Lombard backs. Uh, and, and you're trying to work out like what is going on. The big appeal to Ratchet & Clank though is that the, the cool amount of weapons that you get um, can, can kind of be upgraded as you collect little nuts and bolts or coins throughout the world. And then you can upgrade those weapons to be as wild as possible. So the combat is like super creative and super fun and it really is fun for everybody in the whole family. So, uh, in the words of everybody on a Zoom call, can you hear me now, Grant? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> can I can you hear, hear me now? you now. I can okay, hear you now. Thank great. goodness. All right, so <laughs> it, it just based on the other Ratchet and Clanks that have been out there and just compared to this one, what's the bigger differences that make this one you know, even more appealing? Well, it is obviously on PlayStation 5. So this is a PlayStation exclusive and they're going full out. So if you haven't got a PlayStation game, you want something that looks impressive, it really looks like a Pixar film. You know, when I was playing it, like there were scenes where, you know, there's a cut scene, there's a little bit yeah. of a story, the characters are acting out, you feel like you're in a movie, I've got my popcorn <laughs> and I'm busy playing and then all of a sudden, I realized that actually I'm supposed to be playing. You know, I have to quickly grab the controller and it just it feel, felt like I was sitting inside like a Pixar movie for the first time. The graphics are incredible. And then obviously, because you've got all these creative new weapons that they give you throughout the game, the controller, remember there's this brand new PlayStation 5 controller with new vibrations in it. Yeah. Like the, the triggers like click in at different places. It vibrates in different, it feels like there's things inside the controller. It really is quite a wild experience. And I think this is something for the entire family to actually enjoy. I think mom and dad will get into like the world and just look at how like far games have progressed and kids, it's family safe and it's lots of fun. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful experience. You know, when I look at the overlay that's going on here, I'm, I'm getting really excited about it. And as you said, I'm feeling like I'm watching somebody's movie, even though it is uh, a couple of clips from the gameplay. So it looks like an exciting one from Ratchet and Clank. Um, availability in South Africa, is it out already? It is out, it came out last week, Friday. It is brand new. If you're looking to get like a really exciting game for a family member, or if you want to just take your PlayStation 5 and you just want to see how, how far it can go, it really, this is a great game to show off uh, how powerful the next generation of consoles is. And it's just, it's, I was just laughing the whole time. The, it's so funny. The characters are so funny. The world is so entertaining. Uh, Dr. Nefarious is my favorite character. How cool is that I name? love that name. Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious sounds like the best. I feel like I've heard it in, a, in one of those cartoon movies before, but um, it, it sounds like it's really well <laughs> thought out. And it's, it's one of those games where I feel like they've uh, immersed themselves in, as you said, like a Pixar movie. Movie, but just allowed you to take control in some of the, the elements and cutscenes of it, which makes it even more appealing and even more exciting. I'm excited about this game now. Yeah, no, you should be. It's a third-person platformer that, uh, yeah, everybody should uh, have at least try once.
Grant, thanks a lot, man, for all of the updates on this particular game. I think it's going to be absolutely incredible for the entire fam. And who knows, maybe even a Father's Day gift. I feel like we need to give more Father's games. Yeah. I, I think so. This is a Father's Day gift that you can play with your dad and spend the whole of Father's Day together, family right. bonding. Yes, thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm hearing Graham in the background going, yeah. So, Father's Day <laughs> gaming is on the table, my friend. Thanks to you, Grant. Thanks a lot, brother. <laughs> Thanks, man. Go check it out, Ratchet and Clank. It's called Rift Apart and Father's Day gift idea. Why not? But Grant will not be going anywhere. Still a couple of more uh, tech elements to chat about right here in your feel-good breakfast show, so stay there.